So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a very, very popular outdoor hiking, camping meal. And this one is Real Termat by Drytech. Now this is the most popular one people like to buy. I've looked it up online, I've contacted the Real Termat themselves and they've said the most popular one is the Reindeer Stew. So therefore, straight to Amazon, let's have a look. I've had it before, but I didn't put the video on this channel. And the main channel where I used to do these sort of meals and then I just shut the channel down over time but we're going to get to a nice little spot and then we're going to take a look at this real term at reindeer stew 578 calories now I do know what people think about these meals they say they're expensive for what they are and it's cheaper to go in to get some beans sausages and stuff like that and making your own meals but it's very very handy to get these throw them in your bag and you don't have to mess around trying to make your own meals I've done it before I've got the microwave meals from Tesco's put them in the foil bag sealed them reheated them when I got to camp so this one the reindeer stew 20 pound it's expensive but is it nice that's the main thing and when I do taste it I will be very honest I'll link it in the description if you want to go check it out read the ingredients and stuff or if you want to buy one so yeah there'll be a link in the description to get one of these if you're interested in trying it for yourself let me know expensive let me know in the comments below so if you're recently new to the channel and you think hang on a minute last time i came to this channel this lad with a camping in tents or a hammock i do like to throw odd videos like this on the channel as well just to show people what's available if you're looking at getting these hydrated or dehydrated meals i go it's seasonal really like winter time i love to get the hot tents out you stick your wood burning stove inside, stick the chimney through the tent what's made for that hole and then uh, fill it up with wood and do some lovely cooking in it. But that is definitely the winter times because you're in your tent from about 5pm uh, right to the next morning about 8am so you don't spend a long time in them tents. So yeah if you're just wondering you know what's different I do like to pop videos like this up as well especially in the uh, winter if i'm using a normal tent i do like to get the ration army packs from around the world different ones and uh, use them as meals i started it last year i will continue it this year because when you're in your tent and weather's a bit rubbish outside you can't really sit there with a twig burning stove and stuff like that right let's get under here and then we'll get set up So these meals are very easy to do. At the side here, you've got a very clear line here. So we, when you get to the top of the line there, that's where you've got to fill the water up to. And they're very easy to do. Now, here across the top, you get a zip lock. You want to rip the bag open above that. And they'll put this little notch there for you. It will vacuum pack, so all the uh, it's just gone into the meal bag now. Then that's what it will look like inside. Straight away it looked like some sort of stew, you know, meat, vegetables and stuff like that. This here must be the reindeer meat. We'll see how it tastes in a minute. So all we need to do is add the boiling water to it. And 
Now what I suggest you do with this is, because outdoors you've not got really a lot of idea how much water you're boiling, so you can just gradually add it to it. Let's just put quite a bit in first, because you know you're going to need up to that line. And already I'm way away from it, so I'll add a little bit more water. Bit warm, nearly dropped my meal then. Give it a quick stir. What you need to do is, at the corners of these bags here, well it's not a corner, it sort of dips in, but where it uh, curves round, let's say, it can build up there. So you need to just give it a really, really good mix. Already, I think that's looking really nice. Right, let's zip lock it closed. And it says you have to leave it for eight minutes. So that gives enough time for me to chill out in my hammock a little bit. So, is eight minutes quite a long time to wait for the meal? That all depends on the ingredients within the meal. So there you're gonna have meat, uh, vegetables, I've seen some potatoes. So all them need to rehydrate properly. So the time does vary, but they don't really drop any less than five minutes, I don't think. If I'm wrong there, you can comment below and let me know about that. But I think about five minutes upwards. So I've left it for 10 minutes just to make sure it gets hydrated properly. I like what it says on the back of the pouch. Dinner is served folks, all you need is hot water, that's to hydrate the meal. Eating outdoors has never been easier, enjoy your meal. That's quite polite of them that, mind you, they pay £20, so for £20 they're going to put something nice there aren't they? Just smells like a, a Sunday stew. Uh, if you're not from the UK, a stew is where you put like your meat in, potatoes, carrots, peas and different vegetables like that and you mix it with some sort of gravy and you just leave it to slowly cook away. Basically get your Sunday dinner, stick it in a blender then eat it. That's what Sunday dinner is, just a bit more lumpier. <laughs> That's a good way of explaining it isn't it? Yeah I smell pepper, I smell potatoes and like a gravy. I'm just checking, is it black or white pepper? Yeah, it's not saying there's pepper in it, but I can smell pepper. Potato, reindeer meat, salt, onions, carrots, flour, cream, milk, oil, I don't know, I can smell it, but I can't see it on the uh, ingredients, but never mind. Uh. Now, all veg storm is on the way, we're at next 45 minutes, so I do need to get a move on doing this video and get myself back home before the storm starts. So straight away, I'm heading straight for some of the reindeer meat. I'm finding it a little bit salty, this meal. Yeah, it seems to have a lot of salt in it. But the reindeer meat, and you get a lot of it as well. Then again, for £20, you're going to have to do that. You can just see it there, can't you? That reindeer meat is really nice. The potatoes, the carrots. Mm. Oh, 
hydrated very well. But yeah, there's an awful lot of meat in it, and that's what you want for £20. <laughs> for £20, you can go to a restaurant and get a quite a decent meal for that. But like I said earlier, these sort of meals are really good when you're out hiking and you just want a quick meal for your energy and your morale. Sometimes when you're out doing stuff, your morale can be down. Not what a good meal doesn't sort out sometimes. Hmm. And when you're out camping in your tent and you know you're just getting to settle down for the night and have a belly full of warm meal. I do taste the pepper, even though it's not saying there's pepper in it. But there is a a slightly overpowering taste of the salt. Yeah, it's not giving the uh, the measurement of the salt what's in here. Eighty-three percent reindeer meat. It's nice. It is nice. I see why it's a very very popular meal. Hmm. I think once you get used to that salty taste, it's not too bad. So, if you've had done this before, if you've had this one before, have you noticed the salt? If you have, let me know, please. It'd be interesting to see if it's just me or other people can pick up the amount of salt. But it's still really good. I can see why people like it, and it would be something that I would buy again. The wind's picking up, that's due to the storm what's on its way. So I'm going to sit back, finish eating this meal, and I'll get back to you. So I've completely finished the meal. Now, I am going to be honest, like I said in the beginning of the video, and I've already talked about the salt. At start, it's very powerful with the salt, and you can still taste it in my mouth now once I've finished eating it for five minutes. But once you're over that salt intake, it seems to be like manageable and it's really nice. Like I said, now I still taste very salty in my mouth. Uh, but I can see why it is a really good seller. I reckon it's because the amount of reindeer meat that you get in it. But overall, I would give it an 8 out of 10. I think the price knocks it down a little bit and the idea of the salt. I'm going to bang on about the salt because if you don't like salt in your food, you need to know this is a little bit salty. Now, 8 out of 10, let me know your thoughts about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this channel, the video, please do consider subscribing to the channel by pressing that. I put another video up there for you to watch. I hope I see you next time. Thanks for watching.